Hey friends, welcome back to another travel vlog here on our channel, putting up the pom-poms. In this travel vlog, we went to Atlanta for the girl's birthday for the weekend. And we're gonna talk about all the activities we did, all the food that we ate, and I'm gonna talk about how a family vacation just ain't a vacation. Okay, let's get into it. So we're from North Carolina and we decided to drive down to Atlanta, Georgia, which is about a five hour, five and a half hour drive. Um, so the drive wasn't too bad. We got there in pretty good time. This was our apartment style hotel that we stayed in. It was a two bedroom, kind of like a condo. The girl, this is the girls rooms with the double bed. They had a TV, beautiful view of the pool in the city. And then our bedroom was on the opposite side, which was perfect. We had our own privacy. The girls had their own area and um, they had like this like rustic industrial style to it there was concrete everywhere which wasn't you know it's not my cup of tea but it didn't look bad and this was our bedroom with the king size bed it came with a shower and a tub as well we also had a balcony for hours so the girls loved it out there i'm not a fan of heights so i stayed my ass you know in the doorway and just watched them you know look at the city it was a nice view though beautiful and we were excited so this is my outfit that i wore we are going to head to the aquarium and we're staying in downtown Atlanta right and I, I did that on purpose because I wanted everything to be in walking distance <laughs> anywhere downtown in a major city you're definitely gonna be paying for parking and when we arrived parking was like forty dollars forty dollars for what right so I was just like y'all put on y'all walking shoes it was only like a 10 minute walk it was literally right up the street as soon as we turned the corner from our hotel it was a straight shot and the aquarium was going to be on the left hand side I'm sorry I didn't even mention the name of our hotel it was 12 downtown the 12 or whatever that that was what it was called so here is the inner workings of the aquarium it pretty much had this main major uh, center and then everything kind of like branched off to like the sharks the food court the penguins the sea the whales and tropical everything beautiful aquarium oh my gosh i will say that um we did go and it was kind of busy but i guess it can get busier because i heard other people say like no this isn't bad at all we went on a sunday afternoon but we assumed it would be busy because, you know, the kids are out of school right now and stuff like that. So we we thought it was going to be kind of chaotic. To us, it was busy, but people were saying that it, it could get a lot worse. So these are just some of the fish. This was the first aquarium that we walked up on, and it was beautiful. Like, how huge these aquariums were. Um, the fish were, like, literally just swimming up to you, just looking at you, just staring. It, and the girls loved it. Um, we saw some starfish. These were the beluga whales. Beluga whales are definitely one of my faves. Um, and they were like super friendly. They were swimming all over the aquarium. You know, sometimes you go to like zoos and aquariums and the animals just don't want to interact. They don't really want to like play around and swim up to the wall or anything. No, these beluga whales were all over the place. And it was awesome because so the girls got to see them like really up close and we didn't do any like interactive things or anything like that, like feeding the fish or anything. I'm, I'm not a fan of animals. I'm going to just be honest with y'all. I, I love looking at them from afar. If you're in a tank, in a cage, a weight where there's a barrier between you and I, I, I can participate in that. Anything where you're telling me I need to get up and close and personal, they going to be like licking on me. Uh, none of that. Feeding them. I'm just, I'm not that girl. Okay. But um, it was still nice. This this was the shark part. This was the, probably the most exciting part of the entire aquarium. Everybody loves sharks. It's just something about the beauty and their like danger. It's just something about it. So this was probably the best looking part of the entire aquarium aside from where the um, manta ray and stuff was at, which was like the most famous part of this entire aquarium. When I was looking it up, that's all everybody would talk about was the manta rays. But this is the shark tank. And they had like four different species. There was hammerhead, the white tip, I think, shark. Um, you know, there's all kind of little calling cards all around it where you can learn about the fish. Now, it said no flash photography. And of course, it was somebody hard-headed as hell that had to, you know, have they flash on like a whole damn dumbass. You know, but it was all right. And the fish obviously know that you ain't supposed to have your flash on because soon as they saw that flash, that shark came around that damn tank like he was ready to jump through us. If that glass wasn't there, we would have all been dead. Because 
way he was looking at us was like, I'm about to F whoever it was who had that damn flash on, okay? Because I know you see the sign, that big ass sign that said, don't have your flash on. And he was swimming like a predator, like low and slow. Like he was just like, yeah, I'm about to get one of y'all. So then we moved on. Um, there was another part of the tank where they kind of like swim over your head. Boo, I really loved that part. And I was trying to get her attention so she could smile at the camera, but she was just so invested they had like a thing where you could pay for and you could sit in the cage and the sharks just swimming around you i i don't know who, why why like you know like you can't just look at them from the glass you got to get in the water I, I don't understand that and i'm pretty sure they paid a nice little penny to sit up in that damn tank with them fish just staring at them i'm like i'm i'm good from the glass i'm i'm just i'm not that girl i'm not that girl so we accidentally bought a show to the dolphin uh show where they're doing like little tricks and, and flips and stuff this was pretty cool i didn't think i would like it because i don't i don't know something in the back of my head just be like mm, this kind of like animal cruelty y'all making these dolphins do all this shit they probably don't want to do you know like who said the dolphin said this was okay i just feel like who got the dolphins consent but you know what i i digress so it was a nice little show they it probably lasted maybe 10 minutes if that it was really quick they did a couple of flips fed them some fishes i think they were surfing on the dolphins that part was cool but at the same time i'm just like the dolphin could just drown y'all asses and what y'all gonna do you know Then we made our way to the tropical section of the aquarium where they have like the clownfish, the coral reefs and stuff like that. And those aquariums were just as beautiful. Lots of beautiful colors. You get to see all the little tiny fishes up close and their habitat. And uh, we took several pictures in that area. I love looking at coral reefs. Like there can be no fish in the tank. And if it's just coral reefs, I'm staring at it all damn day. So that's why like clownfish are always my favorite because I just love how the reef just moves with the water and the fishes are just going in and out and all that good stuff so you know we got to see little finding nemo it was cute i really did like it and i just love how crystal clear the videos look in this so then there was like a little tunnel part where the kids can like crawl up under the aquarium and you can see them from the other side there was like lots of like kid interactive like spots and with throughout the entire aquarium where the kids get to see it So this was my favorite part of the entire aquarium. These was the manta rays and I just love how beautiful they are. They're giant. Like I always knew they were giant but they are so huge and they are literally just floating like barely even moving but they're just gliding and floating through the water. Such beautiful creatures. I loved it. We got to see like schools of fishes. It was a lot of fish in this tank. So this one is like a little um like a little escalator that you would find at the airport where people just kind of stand and it moves you so yeah you can either walk or you can just stand on the escalator and it moves like 0 0.0 miles every um hour and you know it's really slow but you get to kind of like take your time and just look at all the fish we were trying to find a swordfish because boo when we walked in that was all she kept talking about was how she went to see a swordfish and my, my baby didn't even get to see one so you know georgia aquarium i'm gonna need y'all to get a swordfish because my baby was highly disappointed that we couldn't get to see the swordfish because that, that was like one of her biggest things was mommy i want to see a swordfish i don't know why I'm pretty sure it's some YouTube video that she done watched where she's now obsessed with swordfishes and that's the only fish that she can identify with. That and the hammerhead. Those were the only two fish that Boo was just like, yeah, I want to see the, the hammerhead shark and the swordfish. That's all she kept saying. So yeah, it was really nice. They had these giant uh, whales in there, uh, which was Christian's favorite part. And they were just as beautiful as the manta rays. And this aquarium like is huge. It took up literally the entire section. Like this was one section 
then you can walk around see another spot of the aquarium then you can keep walking around and there's like this big like tv screen it literally looks like a tv screen of fish So we went back to the hotel because it was time to change. We tried to relax after getting off the road. And um, we went to uh, Mellow Mushroom. This was not our first choice to go eat out at because I wanted to try. When we travel, me and my husband like to try new restaurants. But I forgot we got our picky ass kids with us. And they just... They, they they basic. My kids are basic. And these have for time I some, ooh, let's get some Chick-fil-A. Like, what? No, we can't eat Chick-fil-A. At, at home like we settled for mellow mushroom let me tell y'all so while we sitting here eating and i got clea over here in this video because she was like oh mommy i want to eat too so while we sitting there there was this big ass roach that decided to crawl up the wall and i was cool i'm like all right you know stay over there mind your business and we good roach you know i won't bother you you won't bother me no this mofo decides to come down the wall he was huge he decides to come down the wall and pay us a visit in our booth when i say me and my kids jumped up so damn quick and there was a little white couple over in the booth next to us. They call themselves trying to be super save a hoe. Like, oh, we'll kill it for you. This girl, this white woman come over there with her flip flop, y'all. Trying to kill this damn roach. First of all, she swung it like 20 goddamn times and missed every single damn one. How? How? How you do that, Susan? So I finally was just like, F it. I took my flip flop off and first hit, boom, hoe was dead. And I'm just like, see, you playing around with these roaches, uh, Susan. You, you need to learn how to stomp a hoe so anyways back to our hotel this was at night i just wanted to get a little city nightlife view you know so this was the next morning i got dressed up again put on this cute little outfit because we was gonna get some breakfast and we went to this place called corner bakery just just avoid this place don't worry about it it ain't it ain't that good it wasn't um they had these huge ass cakes yeah my kids wanted cakes for breakfast i ain't arguing with them i was just like whatever just eat something i don't care um so they got like the confetti one and then i had got the lemon pound cake and the cake is Itself was not bad it wasn't bad I don't know if they make these in stores I would assume that they would make this in the store because they call they stuff to be a bakery but I didn't read into the details um shit was sweet as hell first of all almost lost every last one of my damn teeth eating that damn cake it wasn't the cake it was the damn icing like they put a glob size of icing on top of the damn miniature yeah. bunt cake first of all i just i ain't understand that luckily the coffee was nasty as hell and bitter so it kind of you know balanced itself out christian and kalia had got these little pitas i think his was like a pesto style it had pepperoni and turkey with uh, mozzarella cheese and pesto that was pretty good So if you are going to go, because that's the only thing in the area at the moment, get the pitas. Don't don't get anything else. Um, and then I also tried Kalia's. She had like the club style one. It had like bacon and turkey and cheddar cheese on it. It wasn't it wasn't completely bad. Way too much cheese for my liking. So I took like one bite and I was just like, yeah, not Kalia. You can you can have this back. I'm gonna just keep it pushing. So this is later on that evening, me and Christian went down the lob to the lobby. They had a restaurant slash bar down there. We didn't eat there, but I just took some quick pictures. We decided to go to the Coca-Cola Museum, which was right beside the aquarium. So again, another 10, 15 minute walk. Nothing too drastic, but my drastic ass kids had a whole damn fit about it. Well, I won't say all of them. It was really just that middle child. Kehlani was in tears, had through a whole tantrum because she had to walk. She just could not understand. She bougie, y'all. Okay, I don't, they, they don't get out the house much. I'll be trying to push them out the house to learn something something about themselves but no she would rather sit in the house and play roblox so she was highly upset she couldn't understand why her feet needed to move from one destination to another but when i say spoiled spoiled i've ruined my kids but you know the coca-cola uh, museum was nice they had all this like historic memorabilia about coca-cola because coca-cola been around for like a thousand years they had this vault right so that's the vault over there that's like worth like 50 million dollars or something like that two billion dollars i can't remember the guy was trying to give us like a little history lesson and christian thought it was fake as hell he was just like oh this is a cute little toy i was like sir did you not just hear this man said that this vault cost three billion dollars 
what toy is gonna cost three billion dollars Chris this is a real ass vault like it had a whole handprint up there for you to open it now we thinking they gonna open it up for us and we gonna see the little you know whatever's inside they was just like yeah no just take your pictures and keep it moving but don't get too close because the alarm gonna go off like I'm like oh okay and Christian thought it was fake he was just like oh yeah this is cute like sir like we we are li- we will be arrested if you cross that little like it was a whole rope and everything that said don't don't get too close the alarm will sound i'm like he don't he ain't listen he ain't pay attention at all so we made our way around the little coca-cola museum there was like six little exhibits um there was a little area where you can try all the nasty ass soda that they've ever invented let me tell you something when you do go to the taste it section because that's probably the most fun part of the out of the entire museum everything else is like a history lesson and whatnot when you make your way to the taste it section they're gonna have this one that's called sour plum tastes like straight barbecue sauce do not hurt your own feelings by doing it i tried to warn somebody else that was over there in my section i was like hey don't try this one it tastes like barbecue sauce and then white people was just like oh my god barbecue sauce let me try and i was just like you know what why why do i bother so then we went to a johnny rocket which was this nice little like diner like burger spot cute little place for kids you know Kayla Callista was having a whole damn fit she was grumpy as hell wouldn't want to eat nothing so I ate all her food and um ate her little smiley face ketchup the tots were delicious okay let me say tots were great such an unhappy face though man So that was a girl's dinner because me and Christian were just like, yeah, we going to go to an adult restaurant, right? So I went back to the hotel, changed out real quick to, into this shimmery jumpsuit. I thought I would see shit, right? So we went to this place called White Oak, right? Okay. So we Ubered there because I was not walking in my heels. I was just like, yeah, babe, no, not at all. I ordered this drink. Okay, first of all, the drink slapped the shit out of me. It was strong as hell. It looked cute, though, but it was strong as hell. I did not, I was not, I was not able to finish it. Um, the restaurant was supposed to be like this bougie, like winery steak and stuff. Um, the only thing that was good there was these rolls. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing that was good was the goddamn rolls i hate it when i go to a restaurant and literally the only thing i'm able to eat is the rolls like i was so disappointed i had ordered like the fish of the day first of all i didn't even know what kind of fish it was but i was just like you know i'm gonna be a little adventurous christian wanted a steak first of all they was out of every damn thing they didn't have pork they didn't have steak they didn't have lamb all they had was chicken and fish okay and we didn't even get there late as hell like we got there at like eight i think and it was out of every damn thing. So I was just like, all right. So I go to eat my little fish. First of all, it's goddamn cold. I said, all right, this is a $40 plate. Y'all give me a scoop of mashed potatoes, three broccolis, and tell me, enjoy? Come on. I was so pissed off. So Christian felt bad, so he tried to make it up to me and took me to this place called Sweet Shack, where they are Sweet Stack, sorry, where they make um, their ice creams. And of course, they're popular for this one called the Cookie Monster, which was completely blue. Christian got that one, and I had got the coffee one because I love coffee ice cream. I don't know what it is. It just completes my soul. So freaking delicious, okay? Now, we went kind of late, so it was a little seedy and dark looking, um, and they didn't have nowhere for us to sit on the inside, so I was kind of upset about that, but you know, whatever the next morning we are ready to go home i was so sick of my kids so sick of atlanta and i was ready to hop on the first plane out of there so we went to this little bagel spot um i don't even remember the name i think it was called einstein bros or something like that it was another like 10 minutes up the street if we walk two minutes if you go by car um so we stopped there to get some bagels and we ate real quick I was so ready to go. My kids got on my everlasting nerve. I will not take their asses nowhere else. I will continue to have my couple's little retreats and vacations because kids are so ghetto. They are absolutely highly do not recommend. Do not recommend kids. Um, just go about it a different way. I don't know. Get you some nieces and nephews because nah, 
no i do not do not recommend um but it was cute this was my first time in atlanta i've never been to atlanta and um i felt like i could have did a lot more but since i went with my basic ass kids i had to keep it very basic but it's okay you know we live and we learn and i know now that if i do another family vacation i'm gonna get an all-inclusive where everything is right there all you gotta do is take the elevator down because my kids is just lazy and they tiresome and worrisome anyways y'all thank you for joining us on another video we will see y'all on another one don't forget to check out our other travel vlogs for this year be blessed and be safe